So I just wanted to make a quick MLB trade rumors video for you guys, as well as an MLB news video for you guys, uh, talking about the New York Yankees and three players that are being linked to the New York Yankees uh, for the 2023 season uh, as possibly their new starting left fielders. So uh, this is going to be sort of a news video, but also sort of a reaction video. I'm uh, just giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on the three players that are mentioned in this video uh, for the New York Yankees. I think all three players mentioned in this article, which by the way is on MLBTradeRumors.com, a link to this article will be down below in the description of this video. Uh, in case you want to check it out for yourself. I do think these three players are somewhat realistic. I think some are a little bit more realistic than others, uh, but regardless, we'll touch on it right now. Let's get right into it. So first off, the article says, given the stiff competition the Yankees are facing in the AL East, one could certainly argue for general manager Brian Cashman and his staff to seek out an upgrade. They've been tied to an array of left field possibilities. That includes the top free agent, Jerson Profar, and trade candidates like Brian Reynolds and Max Kepler. Pittsburgh has reportedly set a massive asking price in regarding Brian Re or in talks regarding Reynolds. Uh, Minnesota dealing Kepler this offseason still seems possible, though Heyman writes there isn't any current traction between the Yankees and the Twins on that front. So uh, just getting right into this, I'll start with Jerks and Profar, uh, formerly of the San Diego Padres. Now, Jerks and Profar, as mentioned in this article, um, is the best free agent available on the market. He actually had a pretty good year at the plate last year, um, you know, having a war around three. Uh, 15 home runs, you know, solid average, just solid stats all around, just solid war. Um, overall, a tremendous year, especially in a contract year uh, for Jerks and Profar in 2022. Now, Jerks and Profar is a very versatile player, um, not a player that's super old by all means either. Uh, so he checks a lot of boxes there, switch hitters so he can hit from the left or the right, uh, which is very appealing to the Yankees, can play left field, infield, you name it. Um, like I said before, checks a lot of boxes. The only thing that Jerks and Profar might not check in regards to the Yankees is just his salary and what he's sort of commanding and asking for on the open market. Just the fact that Jerks and Profar is coming off of a good year um, and is the best free agent available in the market, you would think that he'll probably get paid, I don't know, north of $10 million a year, most likely, I would think, uh, given his stats last year. So that might be a little bit too expensive for the Yankees who don't want to go over that Cohen threshold, and that's been reported numerous times. So uh, unless Jerks and Profar wants to take maybe a hometown discount or the Yankees are able to move out salary, you know, whether that's an Aaron Hicks, um, IKF, maybe they find a Donaldson trade partner, who really knows at this point, I wouldn't suspect that Profar will be a Yankee unless something happens because, like I mentioned before, they have to make room for him for one, and two, they would have to trade out salary, which in today's day and age isn't a super easy thing to do, especially with the players the Yankees would want to trade so uh, jerks and profile makes a lot of sense from you know uh, an on-field perspective from a paper perspective he would fit in probably perfectly with this team i just don't know if financially it's gonna work so that's why i would be a little bit hesitant on jerks and profile um just because of his price tag and how the yankees would have to move out salary to make this happen but i like jerks and profile tremendous player would check a lot of boxes for the yankees I'm just not too sure if financially it makes the most sense and it'll actually happen at the end of the day. Now, the next player that's mentioned is Brian Reynolds of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Now, Brian Reynolds getting traded uh, to the New York Yankees has been talked about, oh my gosh, for like months now. Uh, and I still think at the end of the day, as long as Brian Reynolds is still on the Pirates, he's going to be linked to the Yankees because the Yankees just make too much sense, in my opinion. Uh, to not be in on Brian Reynolds, who would be a tremendous addition to this team. Uh, just 27 years, oh no, I think he's 28 years old, or he will be 28 years old fairly soon. Uh, I think he had 27 home runs last year, you know, incredible war. One of the best defensive center fielders in all of baseball, uh, and this would be just a player that any team should be going after, but as sort of mentioned in this article that I talked about earlier, Brian Reynolds and the Pirates are asking for a ton. Brian Reynolds wants to get paid, which is totally fair and reasonable. You understand that. The Pirates don't want to pay him, yet they don't want to trade him unless they get everything they're asking for, which is a ginormous amount. So unless the Pirates lower their asking price, which I think they will eventually, just because it's going to get ugly if it doesn't, then he's not going to get traded because no one's going to meet the asking price. It's too high right now. But if the asking price lowers, Brian Reynolds would be a tremendous player for the Yankees. You know, his age is perfect. You're going to have to extend him, but it's not the end of the world because he's a tremendous player. I'd be willing to extend him, no problem. Uh, Left-handed bat, so that's nice also. Um, has experience playing center, but he'd probably be playing left field on the Yankees. Uh, you can maybe move him around a little bit also on some days. But uh, for the most part, I think Brian Reynolds would be like the best case scenario. Uh, Yankees fans would be willing to, uh, and I think more than willing to, uh, depart with some top prospects for a guy like Brian Reynolds. 
just because the Yankees worth the price of admission, in my opinion. Uh, and this really makes the Yankees a contending team, not only for 2023, uh, but beyond, as he would be entering, you know, still the uh, the prime years of his career. It still has a lot left in the tank. So uh, Brian Reynolds, I think, would be Yankees fans' dream. But at the ASCII price he's currently asking, or the uh, Pirates are asking for right now, it's just unfathomable and unrealistic, and it's not going to happen. So unless that were to lower, as Heyman mentions, uh, nothing's going to happen. But I think Brian Reynolds is probably their number one choice. Uh, but I guess we'll find out what happens and just see moving forward. So uh, Brian Reynolds of the Pittsburgh Pirates makes tons of sense. The best player, obviously, uh, but just very expensive right now. So yeah, Brian Reynolds of the Pittsburgh Pirates is the second player mentioned. Now to close out this video is the player that I'm probably the least high on. So out of these three players, if I'm the Yankees, I would go after this player three out of three. He'd be my third choice. Uh, and that's Max Kepler of the Minnesota Twins. Now, Max Kepler is interesting because he's not a terrible defender. He's just not a great hitter. And I'm not really too sure if Max Kepler would even be that much of an upgrade. Uh, on what they currently have right now in New York. Now, I do think Minnesota is going to look to trade some of their outfielders, you know, especially with the addition of Michael A. Taylor uh, and the addition of Joey Gallo earlier this offseason. It's a little bit crowded, you know, Byron Buxton, Michael A. Taylor, um, Nick Gordon, Max Kepler, um, Joey Gallo. Like, that's five more than capable outfielders, and they can't all play. So I really think at the end of the day, the uh, Minnesota Twins are going to look to trade one, maybe two of these outfielders, uh, probably for some prospects or for some pitching. Uh, I do think that's probably likely uh, for the Twins this offseason. But Max Kepler, I, I'd rather have Nick Gordon personally, but Max Kepler, like, it's nice adding left-handed bat, someone that could play the outfield, but just not a good hitter. I'm not super high on Max Kepler personally. Um, I think that if this were to be the case, the Yankees would probably just stick with their, uh, you know, internal options. Uh, not trade much for Max Kepler. Now, I can't imagine the price take for Kepler would be pretty high on the trade market. I believe Max Kepler is a pending free agent also um, at the conclusion of this season. So just getting a player that's going to be a one-year rental isn't worth trading for, in my opinion, especially a guy that hits the way Max Kepler does. Like, no shade on Max Kepler. I'm sure he's a great person. He's a great fielder. I just don't think his hitting justifies the Yankees trading a lot for him, but he could be an option there. I mean, left-handed bat, maybe he gets better in New York in a, in a you know, more hitter-friendly park. Who really knows? But uh, Max Kepler being the third and final option on this list, I don't know. It's not my preference personally, but I don't run the Yankees. I'm just a guy on YouTube, so what does my opinion matter? But uh, Max Kepler, he's an option for sure. I think he's likely to be traded. I'm just not really too sure if it makes a lot of sense for the Yankees. That's just my opinion. Uh, believe yours down below. So that's going to be it for this video. Sort of like a news slash reaction video hybrid. Uh, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, for more content just like this, along with MLB news, rumors, you know, everything MLB, uh, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel uh, and like this video if you haven't already. Both of those things would be greatly appreciated. Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video, Yankees fans. What do you guys want the Yankees to do this offseason to address left field? Do you want to stay in-house and stay with you know, internal options? Do you want to go explore the trade market, sign a guy on the free agency market like Jerks and Profar? Leave all your thoughts down below. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.